Welcome to Seacoast Real Estate Academy. Today in our License Law and Rules series, we will be discussing misrepresentation or omission of material fact in a real estate transaction. Need a reminder about material facts? Click the video link in the description down below. Misrepresentation or omission of a material fact by a licensee is prohibited. This includes both willful and negligent acts. Let's review the definition of these very important terms. A willful act is one that is done intentionally and deliberately, while a negligent act is one that is done unintentionally. A misrepresentation is communicating false information, while an omission is failing to provide or disclose information where there is a duty to provide or disclose such information. Willful Misrepresentation Intentionally Provided False Information For example, an agent knows that the heat pump at a listed house does not function properly, but tells a prospective buyer that all mechanical systems and appliances are in good condition. Negligent Misrepresentation Unintentionally Providing False Information if a reasonably prudent licensee should reasonably have known the truth of the matter that was misrepresented, then the licensee may be guilty of negligent misrepresentation, even though the licensee was acting in good faith. For example, an agent has previously sold several lots in a subdivision under development, and all those lots pass a soil suitability test for an on-site septic system. The agent then sells lot 35 without checking as to whether this lot satisfies the soil test. However, the agent informs the buyer that lot 35 will support an on-site septic system when in fact the contrary is true. Willful Omission Intentionally Not Disclosing Information For example, an agent knows that a zoning change is pending that would adversely affect the value of a listed property, but fails to disclose such information to a prospective buyer. The agent has committed a willful omission regardless of the agent's agency status or role in the transaction. Negligent Omission Unintentional Non-Disclosure of Information the duty to discover and disclose material facts which a reasonably prudent licensee would typically have discovered during the transaction. For example, a seller has a 30,000 square foot commercial property for sale which cannot be expanded under local zoning laws. The buyer is looking for property in the 25,000 to 30,000 square foot range, but has told his buyer's agent that he needs a property where he can expand to 50,000 square feet or more in the future. The seller does not think to advise the buyer's agent that the property cannot be expanded, and the buyer's agent makes no inquiry about it, although he is aware of the buyer's special needs. If the buyer purchases the property without knowing about the restriction on expansion, the buyer's agent is guilty of negligent omission for failing to discover and disclose a special circumstance that the agent knew was especially important to their client. If you like this video, feel free to share it with a friend. For more real estate education content, please subscribe to the channel. From all of us at Seacoast Real Estate Academy, thank you for watching.